Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back at oh, home, man. I'll tell you what, we're doing a review. I'm so excited today, folks. We're doing a review, overview, and first cook on the Char Grill. Brand new from Char Grill, the Acorn Auto Comodo. And you can see we've got the original Acorn, we've got the Acorn Junior, and now Char Grill has come out with this automated, automated Kamado called the Auto Kamado. It actually has a little blower in it, has a stainless steel diffuser on it, has a control panel. You can control this by Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Folks, I'll tell you what, this thing is so cool. We're just going to go through it real briefly, folks. If you want to see more detailed stuff, Tom Horseman on YouTube, uh, I've got a very detailed review of it. We did a uh, burning uh, showing you how accurate that thing is. But today, today it's all about cooking on it. Let's do a quick overview and chuck roast. We're going to do some smoked chuck roast on here, folks. Oh, man, I, uh, I love smoked chuck roast. Let's take a look, see. All right, so what makes an auto Kamado work? So you've got a control panel right there. And then underneath, see that underneath there? That's a blower. It's a small blower. And then there's a diffuser that's just underneath where the charcoal goes. And we'll take a look at that. All right, so I showed you that blower. And here's where here's the diffuser. So you've got the blower, and then you've got this whole diffuser right here. And it doesn't give you a, a you know like a big puff of wind. It gives you more like a gentle breeze over there. And you can see it fits right right below where your charcoal goes. Now I use lump charcoal, and you, you don't want to start it like crazy. Uh, there's very specific instructions on how to start it. Uh, we're gonna get her going there, and then they have a diffuser plate. And this one's been, uh, I did the burn in on this. This is stainless steel and this is pretty cool. So this is gonna fit, it's got a rear and a front on it like this. And today I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna actually put a water pan on there and then let's show you the grates. All right, so there's your, your grill grates. You've got this the upper one. I've always liked this, that Char Grillers had this and it really, you could put a lot of food up there folks. And then you've got the uh, classic cast iron grates underneath there folks i'll tell you what those you can take this thing up on the low side 200 on the high side 650 675 you don't want to go more than 700 uh and it, it works very very nice now they do have a temp probe here you're wondering how does that know what the temperature is in here and there's a temp probe you can see they put it nice and low so that it's almost at great level so you're getting a real true reading as to what it is in here and that way that blower knows whether to turn on or turn off and uh, cycle down or something like that but because it's it's a Kamado and because it's a uh, double wall and it's insulated on the inside this is not ceramic it's steel so it's lighter than those ceramic ones and uh, you know what if this one falls over it ain't gonna break like a ceramic one so I'll tell you what let's uh that's it let's get her fired up and uh, let's go take a look at the chuck roast and then I'll show you the setup and yeah, we're actually gonna use a water pan on here today to do our chuck roast I'll show you how we're gonna do that all right so you set up I've got some lump charcoal in there I've got one fire fire starter in there I've got a piece of pecan buried in there and one pecan off piece of pecan off to the side and that's it we'll get the diffuser on there the grates on there water pan and uh, chuck roast, and away we go. All right, so I've had this chuck roast in the freezer. I, I got it on sale, and then I vacuum sealed it. And I, when I vacuum seal it, I always season it beforehand. So that's all I put on there was this Montreal steak seasoning. And this goes great on chuck roast, folks. So on to the grill, we'll go, super simple. All right, chuck roast is on. Let's take a look at the setup here. We've got the, we've got the controller set here, 225. When you set it at 225, it gives you a, it says D1, D2, D3, D4. And what it's referring to is to tell you what to set your top vent at. So in my experiments, I have found that I should be just a little bit less than D1 in order to maintain that 225. Let's take a quick look at the setup here. I got my probe in there, water pan in there, using the top rack for our, uh, for our chuck roast. And we're gonna shut this down and let it do its thing. And the great thing about this is that's all it's gonna do. You can monitor it via the app, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and you'll know what's going on. So, super simple. Hey folks, I just wanted to show you that fan running. As it gets closer to the temp, this fan will slow down and eventually it'll just stop. And uh, that's the great thing about it. And it, uh, it's programmed to know that it's in a Kamado. So it's uh, not very aggressive. It, it starts shutting down real quick because Kamados do a great job of holding heat. So they've got to be very careful as to how they do this. And uh, Chargo has done a great job uh, designing and programming this controller. All right, folks, just wanted to show you 30 minutes into it. That's why it's called an auto Kamado. Set at 225. 225 is what it is. Very nice. All right, folks, there's the app. I got it running right now. Uh, I just turned it on. Uh, you can adjust the temperature from the app. It is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and you can see it shows the uh, actual internal temp. Uh, you cannot turn the grill on. Uh, you, I don't think you'd want to do that, but it gives you the ability to turn the grill off 
and to adjust the temp uh, any way you want. All right, coming up on three hours here. Huh, 225 is getting kind of boring. Let's, uh, our internals 154, we're into the stall. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, got some nice color going on there. Very, very nice. Keep on going here. I'm gonna wrap when we get to about 165 and uh, then we'll turn it up to 300 and take our internal then to, uh, well, everybody always says 205, but Chuck Gross, I've had, I've had to take it as high as 215, 218 in order to get it to pull. So let's get her closed down, keep on going. All right, folks, uh, five hours. I kind of got a rule when it comes to doing Chuck Gross. Uh, 165 or five hours, whatever comes first. So we're 163 internal, that's close enough. We're gonna pull it, we're gonna pull the water pan out of there, we'll dump that out. And then uh, we're gonna put the chuck roast in there, some beef broth, wrap it, and turn this up to 300. And uh, in fact, I take the probe out, because it takes about an hour, hour and a half. Like I said, we're looking for probably, we're looking for probe tender is what we're looking for. And uh, whatever temp that takes, uh, that's the temp it'll take. Give you a look-see, that's very important to me. Boy, yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. Nice looking, nice looking chuck roast. All right, now I'm going to take it off and cover it. All right, folks, uh, seven hours, uh, 300 set at, 300 is what it is. I, I'm going to do a take, uh, I'm going to do a probe test to see what the temp is, but we're probably pretty close. I've cooked a lot of chuck roasts in my time, and seven hours, between seven and eight hours is usually it. So we did 225 for five hours. The auto Kamado held very, very nicely. And now 300, what more? I mean, it's doing it all for me. I don't have to do anything. You just set the temp, adjust the, adjust the hood. And like I said, it, it says I should be at two, but I got it at one and a half. And that seems to be working at least well for me. Uh, temps out today are a little 60s, a little bit of a breeze. So uh, the temperature and the weather has nothing to play with it today. So we'll uh, give you a look, see once we're ready to pull. All right, folks, been resting for half an hour in the pan. I just took it out of the pan. Uh, if you're wondering, uh, 210, 211 was uh, probe tender. So let's just uh, see how, oh my gosh. That's, uh, that's pretty tender for a chuck roast. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh, <laughs> look at that smoke ring. Look at that. We pull a little bit more. That, uh, that's pretty impressive. Look at that smoke ring on that, on the Auto Kamado. Oh, let's take a taste test. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, that was pretty impressive. <laughs> At seven hours, and it, it was literally zero effort on my part. Uh, I just turned the Kamado on and it did everything. The Auto Kamado from Chargoer, folks, it's the real deal. Tom Horseman of YouTube, thumbs up, leave a comment. Thanks for watching, folks.